November 22, 2023. November 22 started off as a normal day on the San Diego sub. It was the usual SC44 chargers as the engine. The previous locomotives, the P42s, F59s, 8s, and F40s were retired. This is what a SC44 looks like. No one thought these engines would return. That day would change it all. Coming back to November 22nd, it was already a good day as there was a midday BNSF. But the real surprise would come on 572. At around 1.15 p.m., 572 stopped at Carlsbad Village where a few rail fans were. After it departed, the rail fans were shocked by what trailed. Trailing 572 was P42148. This engine was thought to never return as all P42s on the Sufliner are retired. Rail fans were flabbergasted and the news spread like a wildfire. Southbound 572 turns into northbound 785, which meant it would lead on 785. Everyone was excited to catch it, but unknowingly, it was switched to northbound 587. Despite the change, some of the rail fanning community still caught it. Here is a video of 148 on 587 first night, filmed by 5008 Creations. One forty eight has a great K five LA. It continued to run for around a week. On the twenty ninth, it was taken off to probably never be seen again on the San Diego sub. On the twenty seventh, me and other rail fans went to Carlsbad Village to catch one hundred and forty eight, and it was awesome. Fun fact: it was a nine car set, making it even rarer. Here is my video of one hundred and forty eight. many theories on why it came back like Thanksgiving Rush, the Charger, Failure, and although we don't know for sure why it came back, it was a unique experience and was awesome to see, since, then the San Diego sub and the sub line stayed quiet until. Another day, another boring day on the San Diego sub. Oh wait, someone's calling me. Be right back. April 22nd would go down in Southline history. Ironically, four months after 148 came back, it was unexpected as Dash 8 have became rare in general with very few on Amtrak still running. Rail fans flocked to catch 503 or chase it. 503 only ran as an absolute necessity due to a charger failure. 503 is much rarer than 148. It only leads once, blink, and you miss it. A Dash 8 is super rare as last time it ran on the SUF line was 2020. Like others I caught it at Carlsbad Village, it was late as old engines such as 503 have slow acceleration, that it passed us 20 minutes late and arrived into San Diego 35 minutes late. Here is my video of 503 on 580. Some beautiful quills and full blast later 503 cruised into San Diego, making a unique catch of old power. Thanks for watching.